Okay, so today we are going to begin with escape sequences. Uh, a very simple thing. Uh, basically, it's a non graphical character, and we have already seen one of the escape sequences. Now, I did not mention during that particular point of time that this is basically called an escape sequence in C. However, today I am going to tell you that uh, you have already learned one of the escape sequences that is backslash n. So backslash n is an escape sequence. That is, it is considered to be a non-graphical character. Non-graphical character means it is used to control the way output is given on the screen. So it is not used for displaying. You see, we have already seen that backslash n when used within course. What actually happens is, it is going to ensure that the next print statement, that is whatever contained is after backslash n goes to the next line when displaying on the screen. So this is what we have already seen. So that means backslash n do not get displayed as it is. Say for example, if I write a statement C out a b backslash n c d. Suppose if I write this, if I write a b backslash n c d, the output doesn't mean that although we know that you know whatever we enclose within quotes will get displayed as it is, but it doesn't mean that it's going to display a b backslash n c d. You see, backslash n is a special type of character, and remember, n should be used in lowercase, that is in small letter. It is used to ensure that the subsequent characters or whatever is the content out there in the C out statement will get displayed in the next line. That means instead of displaying backslash and it will bring the cursor to the next line and therefore whatever you write over here will get displayed. Or even if you have one more C out statement whatever is the content will get displayed in the next line. So this is what backslash n is supposed to do which we have already learned. So one of the escape sequences uh, we have already come across it, so we are going to learn few more escape sequences and uh, uh, we are going to learn, there are a lot of them, but hardly we use all of them, we are going to learn the most common ones. The next uh, most common escape sequence is the tab space, you see, it is backslash t, now I am going to explain you what is the meaning of this. Backslash t is used to display a tab space. This has to be clearly getting inside your mind. So in C, C++ what basically happens? Let me explain what actually happens. Suppose if I write backslash T out here. Now even this is a very special character. Don't expect you know A, B, C, A, B, C, D and within that we have backslash T getting printed. No, it is never like that. Even backslash T just like backslash N is a special way of controlling the way you know, uh, the data gets displayed on the screen. So how this is going to get displayed? It's going to display A, B and in the ne next tab space is going to display C, D. What basically happens is, you can imagine each tab space in Turbo C++ consisting of 8 spaces. So what actually happens is, A, B already 2 spaces are taken over here. So remaining how many spaces are there? 6 spaces, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if this spaces, you can imagine, you know, the amount of space uh, which the cursor will leave when you press the space bar. Exactly, that's called a space. So when you press the space bar, the amount of space is going to leave, we call it a space on the screen. So A, B will occupy 2 spaces and here 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and just after the 8th space backslash T will ensure that CD get displayed. So this is what is going to happen. So backslash T is going to give a small bit of gap before it displays the next content. However, if it is, you know, uh, the first string itself is, you know, 8 characters or more than that, then backslash T won't work. Backslash T only works when the string is smaller than 8 characters. Only then it will occupy that number of characters and remaining characters is going to fill up with blank spaces and then followed by the next string. So this is how it is going to work. It works with both numbers as well as strings. For numbers of course we are not going to enclose with the quotes. Even if we enclose with the quotes it doesn't matter. Except for mathematical calculation which cannot be performed using quotes. However backslash t remember it is used to display items in the next tab space and each tab space starts from the 8th column. You need to remember this. So that is the function of backslash t. Next comes backslash r. 
Backslash R is for carriage return. So backslash N for new line. I'm repeatedly telling this so that it gets inside your mind. Backslash D for app space. Backslash R for carriage return. Carriage return means it's going to bring the cursor back to the first character in the same line. So what do I mean by that? You see what actually happens. Suppose I have something like this. A, B, C, D, E and then what I do is I write backslash R and I put a semicolon out here. Now when this gets displayed, you won't find any difference. You'll find that it's going to display this way. A, B, C, D, E and it's going to display this. However, if you notice very carefully, you'll find that the cursor is out here once again. It is blinking out here. So what actually happens is if you write C out in the next line, suppose you write FG. So don't expect the FG to get printed out here or in the next line. What actually happens is where was the cursor? The cursor was here in the same line at the beginning. So here FG is going to replace the first two characters because there are two characters out here. So this A will get replaced with F and this B will get replaced with G. That is how backslash R that is carriage return works. So this is how it works. Next. Next escape sequence what we have is we have backslash b so backslash b is going to produce a backspace remember the backspace on your keyboard what is the backspace going to do on the keyboard it's going to remove the character on the left hand side of the cursor so what actually happens is suppose i have something like this suppose i write abcd followed by a backslash b now what actually happens is it's going to display A, B, C, D, E and backslash B is going to produce a backspace. That means it's going to, the cursor came out here and now it's going to delete the character on the left hand side of it. That means this character E gets removed. So the resultant is A, B, C, D, E only. So please remember this, this is the function of backslash B. Next, what we have is the quotes. Suppose say for example, I want to display the double quote. So suppose, say for example, what I'm going to do is, uh, let me give you an example. Suppose I am going to display A, B, C, in the middle I have a double code followed by E, F. Suppose something like this. Now, whenever you execute this particular statement, you'll find that the error comes over here. That is, it is never going to display the double code out here. So what are you going to do? So what are you going to do? You are going to use the escape sequence called backslash port. So when you use the escape sequence backslash port, it is going to display the ports within the string. That is when you do this, it is going to produce an error. Please remember this. Now if you write C out, instead of doing that, if you use the escape sequence A, B, C, then followed by backslash port, then E, F. Now you are going to get A, B, C, quotes, E, F. Remember this is how the backslash quote works. Similarly, we can use even the single quote. Although single quote always works within double quote. It doesn't matter. You don't require. Though we have an escape sequence for backslash single quote. But it doesn't matter. In C++, we don't require it. We can just simply print single quote within the double quotes. It doesn't matter. It still works. Next, something very interesting is there. If I want to display the backslash, suppose say for example, I'll give you an example. Suppose I want to display out here the backslash. Now we know that every escape sequence, actually every escape sequence begins with a backslash. So now when you execute this particular statement, what is going to happen? It's going to display A, B, C, E, F. Now what happened to the backslash? The backslash will not get displayed because backslash means that it's an escape sequence. So it's not going to get displayed. So if I want to display the backslash, we are going to use the escape sequence double backslash. So this time use the double backslash. So two backslashes. So now you are going to get a single backslash as the output. So remember this. This is what we are going to get with different type of escape sequences. And in this assignment, I will give you a lot of output related to escape sequences. I believe you will be able to do this this time. Thank you.